The wound flow sheet is a record of completed visit documentation for each individual wound that provides a quick glance of the wound's characteristics and healing status. In the upper left-hand corner of the flow sheet, you will see the wound location, onset date, wound type, and present on admission. If a pressure ulcer is restaged or non-pressure ulcer has a change in the tissue type, there will be an indication for the change on the dashboard. The flow sheet will default to the current episode, but you can also review documentation from previous episodes, which is very helpful at the time of recertification. The wound score graph is a visualization of the wound status with a timeline of 1 to 10 weeks. The wound score is located at the top of the bar graph. Healing is represented by a decrease in the wound score for each week. An increase in the number indicates a declining wound status, and when the number does not change for two or more weeks, stagnation or delayed wound healing is identified. You'll see the documentation for the assessment questions in the grid view. You can navigate to multiple pages by using the arrows at the top of the grid. The initial visit is always in the first column for comparison. Here, you have a view of the wound photos and the name of the clinician who completed the visit. In addition to the assessment questions, you'll see more details regarding the wound score. Remember, the wound measurements indicate the wound score by calculating the square area. Lastly, you can also see the change in tissue injury level, signs and symptoms of infection, wound status, wound order, comments, treatment performed, and response to treatment.